My name is Corey Roberts. I am one of the co-founders and owners of Relentless Angling. My name is Joe Nepper, and I am the co-founder of Relentless Angling. So my name is Jason Green. Um, I'm just a, just a fisher with these guys. <laughs> Now when Lewis and Clark were coming down the Columbia, they were catching fish further east. They didn't know quite what it was and they continued to catch the same fish as they got closer and closer to the ocean, but it would change color. And they originally called it a salmon trout. And then over the years, I mean, I feel like it's just stuck. People still say steelhead salmon. I grew up fishing uh, in the Pacific Northwest uh, out on the Sandy River. Mainly it was a family passion, fished every week with my dad. And uh, you know, for as I became an adult, it became more important to me to be able to have an outlet between you know, raising kids and working. And, um, and I actually was strongly encouraged by my wife to get back into fishing. And I think that maybe sometimes she regrets that, but. <laughs> Relentless started in 2010. So celebrating our 10 year anniversary this year. We started out just to post cool fish pictures and share all of our adventures and make videos. And we kind of sat down a few years into it and asked, why are we doing this? Why are we being consistent about posting? Are we helping anybody? Are we engaging anybody? Or is it just one more outlet for pictures of fish? Really what it comes down to, I think the core thing of Relentless that we want people to understand what, why we're out here doing this is that anybody can do this. And we, we hear a lot that people that have full-time jobs and kids and family, like they struggle to find the time. Um, and we make the time, you know, like I got up at 3.45 today, I'm gonna be to work at two in the afternoon, you know, and, and yeah, it's a challenge, but you know, we wanna inspire people to, and motivate them to get out there and, and do, do what they're passionate about, whether it's fishing or exercising. We wanna continue providing fun, interesting content, but along with it, we wanna share tips and tricks that we've learned over the years and we pride ourselves in answering each and every question that we get on personal messages and DMs. I feel like we've helped a lot of people get started fishing or fishing for a new species or maybe they moved here from the East Coast and are trying to understand a new area and we want to bring, without giving every secret away or giving all the spots away, engage people and make them feel welcome in the fishing community because it can be hard to break in when you're starting out. I'd say the wild, the wild aspect of these fish is what's near and dear most to us so, and me especially. Being stewards of this river, you know, being of all rivers, uh, all water, you know, protecting fish, keeping fish safe. So we absolutely encourage safe handling of wild steelhead, river etiquette, um, you know, when it comes down to who we are on social media platforms, we really want to make sure we're having fun and portray that message to our followers and our partners. You know, for us, this whole thing was built on just an idea of like, hey, we could probably do this, other people are doing it. And now that we've been able to do, to build large platforms, we're at the point where we have some really great partners. And it's super rewarding to work with the local uh, producers and support their products and help their businesses grow. Starting out, we were just banging our heads against the wall and reading books, watching the few YouTube videos that were available at the time. And we would just keep grinding and grinding and grinding. And I'm so thankful for the guys on the river who took us under their wing. <laughs> like we didn't step onto the river 10 years ago knowing everything that we know right now. And I can think back to specific methods or locations, and I could name the guys who, hey, look, have you thought about doing this? And helped us get onto fish. It's invaluable, and that's why it sounds so generic when we say time on the river is truly important not only for you learning how to read water and see a river change day to day, but you're going to meet people and they're going to be more willing to share and teach you and you can grow in person as opposed to chasing things online and trying to feel like you have it all figured out before you go. Just go and be polite, be gracious, and you're going to learn something. We're not out here to be famous. We're not out here to get rich. We're not out here to do any of that. We just want to fish. For us, we've been able to stay true to our core and the things that we really, that are re we're really passionate about, and um, and not been, and not lose any of the the things that make us who we are as people and anglers. And at the end of the day, 
we can always be proud to stand behind what we do on our platforms. To all you guys who have been following us for years, we appreciate it. We can't wait for all the years to come. And what it's hopefully going to morph into, we have some really cool ideas that we can't wait to share with you guys. Uh, nothing drastic. We're going to stay relentless. The name Relentless came from what I was speaking to earlier. You know, we, we do things that a lot of people won't do and people think it, it's crazy or maybe a little ridiculous as far as getting up at 3.45 in the morning and fishing for six or seven hours, changing in a parking lot, then going to work till midnight, you know. Um, that's what Relentless is about, is finding the time and, and, and having that drive to get out and do what you're passionate about. Just be relentless and don't let the, little, the, the things in life that could potentially stop you prevent you from doing what you're passionate about. Stay relentless, keep after it, keep doing what you're doing. And if you have questions, ask us. <laughs> we love to help. <laughs>